Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Choopy Choosy, back in the clack with another extreme stream. Hey, listen, man. Before I start this epic video, I just wanted to highlight this one Famitsu preview that finally dropped the news that we've all wanted to hear. Okay, just me. It's it, Clearly, I'm the only one who cares about this. But for the first time in 12 fucking years, we get a Fire Emblem that's not an unlimited economy grind fast! It's linear, people! It's linear! <laughs> Only in hard mode. That's fine though, I don't play normal anymore. And besides, it clearly states in older entries that normal is for people looking to get into the series and learn the mechanics, and hard is for those who already have a grip on what Fire Emblem is and uh, know what to expect. I mean, who would have thought that giving more options to beginners without undermining the core mechanics of the game would be such an easy thing to do? Oh yeah, the content of the video relating to the title, right. Okay, um, I got it. Uh, guys, uh, I need help deciding which house I'm gonna choose. <laughs> Can you help me? Should I choose this one or this one? Or how about this one? But seriously, guys, making great three houses content is going to be a top priority of mine going forward. And I feel like choosing the wrong house could potentially make or break my channel going forward. I mean, we got guys like Mangs and Gas who are riding high right now on the slightest morsel of three houses as hype they can muster. Then we got Lucky Crit back at it again with those well-made accessible guides with how the fuck did he get half a million views on this video? How was that even possible with Fire Emblem content? H how did he do that? I can't compete with this shit. Uh, what's this guy's secret? Is it the kitchen studio? It's gotta be that kitchen studio. What's that guy got in his cupboards? Guys, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I might need to sleep this one off. I know you guys were expecting a video, but this is just too much pressure. I'll see you in the morning, maybe. Good night. Don't choose the wrong house, Choopy. You should just delete your channel, Choopy. School's almost in session, bitch. Who said this was a kitchen? You do know that Mulder can heal Colm, right? No! I think I just came. No, oh, that's a lot of interesting nuts. Uh, what's up? It's your boy Choopy Choosy back in the kitchen. I just want everybody to like me. Let's see what what house is best for this louse. So let's let's get into it. Black Eagles. First up is Edelgard. What can I say? I like her a lot. I love strong female physical fighters, and I think Elena from Dragon Warrior 4 is definitely the catalyst for that love. I even went as far as to say that I'd be choosing the Black Eagles at Anime North because of Edelgard. But honestly, guys, during that panel, 90% of my headspace was dedicated to actively not swearing or making bestiality jokes. And besides her affinity towards being a physical female unit, nothing really else is popping off for me, so let's see what the rest of her cast is like. Hubert is a guy I feel like I could really get funky with, and I love his hair for some reason. And I may not be the first to say this, but I'm getting some shrewd strategist vibes from this guy, if you know what I mean. Dorothea, aka the waifu bait. Is showing off your push-up bra really sanctioned by the dress code of this monastery? I'm gonna be quite honest with you, this is probably the sole reason why I'm not going Black Eagles. I go out of my way to prevent edgelords from saying, is that a JoJo's reference? in the comments section, and I just guaranteed that you guys are going to post it anyways by saying that, didn't I? Ferdinand looks fine except when you realize his eyes are the exact same color as his hair, so no. Bernadetta, I actually love this character's design, but I can see her reclusive nature as being another walking one-note anime trope. Uh, but Choopy, if you give her an ace support with Edelgard, you'll realize that her reclusive nature stems from her parents not letting her play on the monkey bars uh, due to a dark and mysterious prophecy. She's so deep, Choopy, you just don't get it. 
Casper. I love this guy. He's so cute. Honest and straightforward. Come on, guys. And his eyes are the same color as his hair, so yes. Definitely a fan of this design. Judging by her brief bio, she's going to be a lady of action and not of words, which I can always get behind. Petra is a yes from me. Linhart, again, I like his design, but I'm a bit confused on this description. Always sleepy, but sometimes forgets to sleep. I, I guess that's unique. And that's the Black Eagles! My closing remarks? A Black Eagle by any other name is still a crow. Okay, Blue Lions, Dimitri, hate the hair, love the guy. I think Gas said it best. Hey, if mops could talk, right? Man, shut up, he's like Ephraim. That's even worse! I'm also curious to see what happens to Dimitri after the time skip. Will he be an Edgelord McEye patch? This intrigues the Choopster very much. Dudu! Ah! Oh, how can I not fall in love with this beautiful man? That earring is such a statement. Fuck! Felix looks freaking awesome as well. You know I'm a fan of the deep V on boys, and he breaks the standard Fire Emblem logic that if you have lines under your eyes, you're a bad guy. Mercedes, loving the floof, and her bio is really intriguing to me. It seems as if it opens the door for a lot of exposition and growth regarding her motivations. Ash, huge fan of freckles, can't stand Yuri Lowenthal's voice, but who doesn't have a soft spot for orphans? Annette, this design is playful and cute, and it's done in a way that's not slammed over your eyeballs with a purple cinnamon bun. This is a good in my book. Sylvian is the big bro of the group, and Joey Fatone is my favorite member of NSYNC, so I'm good with this. Ingrid, see, this is great design, and I can say the same about almost everyone in this house. There is so much going on here, but it's always subtle. So for the Blue Lions, my recap is, yeah, this is probably the house I'm going to go with. Everybody here is very inoffensive to my personal taste, both in design and in their character synopses as well. Alright, Golden Deer, Claude, I don't like him, mainly because in that last time skip trailer, he started saying some bullshit about friendship triumphing over Eagle, and I'm, I'm so over that shit, guys. I, I can't stand how every JRPG throws their theming out the window in the 11th hour, just to make sure we know that friendship is important. Also, a lot of you are saying I look like him, maybe a little bit, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if there's a look-alike of me in a game, I'm not gonna wanna play as him. I'm gonna wanna cook him and eat him, because I know I taste fucking delicious. Pure Stouffer's fed, free range, choopy on the BBQ. It's what makes my mouth water. Lorenz. Now, the overwhelming consensus is that Lorenz is somehow a bad character by design, which tells me, and I'm not trying to be funny here, that y'all have no idea what character design is if you say that. I was actually thinking about devoting a whole video to this topic, but to say his appearance is somehow an oversight on the artist's part is like saying that Groos from Skyward Sword is a poorly designed character just because his pompadour looks goofy. That's the fucking point, guys. He's a snob and a tryhard, and his design facilitates that to great effect, in fact. And he's probably the strongest contender as to why I would choose Golden Deer. And then we have Hilda, and I have no interest in using this person. I can only stand so many characters whose main shtick is to act aloof and cutesy on the battlefield at once. And with her pink pigtails, pink eyes, and bra on the outside, I think I know what I'd be getting into without even reading the bio. Raphael, big, dumb, strong, lovable idiot. Uh, I'm good on that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, it's been done. Let's ship. Let's ship. I don't know. Lithe. Lithey. She looks like a lab rat with volumizing shampoo. I think I just established my new standard going forward. If a character has pink eyes, they probably have a poop kink, and I'm not into that. Ignatz looks sick. I love the hair and the eye color combo. The hair is super unique, and if there's an option to cross and list, I'm probably gonna be shooting for this guy. Marianne, I love her, oh my god. And I'm gonna go with the Berkut Renea alternate timeline ship. Zerk Monster Hunter basically convinced me that those are my two favorite characters in Echoes. And finally, Leone. Great stuff here, lots of character and just the little details on the way she modified her uniform. And her eyes are the same color as her hair, so yes. In recap, 
The Golden Deer have some of my favorite designs, but also some of the most egregious crimes against my own personal sensibilities. Much like real life deers, the Golden Deers may look cute, but they're riddled with Lyme disease. So if you want to let me know which house I should play on my first run, I made a little Twitter poll that's in the Despacito. Let me know there, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, stay frothy. Chubby felt a little unsure of how to keep the content of his videos relevant to a growing audience. Just make a video about Erica. She's literally best girl. <laughs> you know, it's easy to get wrapped up in our own insecurities or worry about what others think of us. But just remember, nobody really cares about your shitty videos. In fact, nobody really cares about you. You could drop dead today and the world would keep spinning just the same. Choopy Choosy says...